it's not a question of uh, what I have done wrong. It's the dismantling of a democracy taking place. So you're not taking any responsibility for any of the things that you've said or done? Absolutely not one thing I have said which could have led to this. Not one thing. I mean, Pakistan is in political chaos at the moment. Since when has uh, being a political opposition, holding public rallies, bringing awareness amongst your people, uh, mobilizing your people for elections, since when has that been supposed to be disruptive or creating uh, uh, you know, problems for a democracy? In fact, a democracy dies when there is no opposition. But this isn't about democracy. This is about getting you back into political power, isn't it? it in any case, this is the election year. So in any case, we would be lecturing, going into the elections and public rallies right now. And the entire party is virtually being put into jail. All the senior leadership. It doesn't happen in a democracy. This doesn't happen when there's rule of law. So what you're saying... You, you put so, some of your opposition into prison as well. You can't even compare what's going on. What? But you use the same system that they're using Absolutely now. Absolutely not. Look, 95% of the cases against the opposition were before our time. We inherited them. So the cases were ongoing. We didn't bring these new cases on, on them. There are 150 cases on me in the just last few months. It's never happened in this country. But it does happen in this country. Whoever's no. in power puts the opposition in prison and then it reverses no. when the next power no. comes in. What they were asking me was, you, you must get the facts right. Their cases were, we inherited their cases, corruption cases, made when they were in power. You said that you want to have these discussions, you want to have negotiations. Your position now is substantially weaker than it was a month ago. So what is it that you are going to offer that you can put on the table now that you didn't put on the table a month ago? Look, my, the moment my position will be weak is when I lose my vote, my vote bank. A political party weakens when it doesn't have a, when, when it starts, its vote bank starts shrinking. I mean, I, you think it's a big crisis for me? I don't. The fact that the country is now receded from democracy, we are basically facing a martial law. But what are you going to put on the table for discussions? Because a negotiation means you have to put something forward. I'm curious. What are they going to achieve from this? I'm curious to know that the country is sinking by the day. We have the worst economic indicators in our history now. I'm curious to know how do they think that by, and I mean the establishment, that by getting me out of the race, how will Pakistan benefit? What are you offering? Uh, talks so that I can understand the mindset. I've told them, you convince me what is best for Pakistan, I'll agree with you. Your party have said Imran Khan is our red line. They've said that for months. What does that mean? That what it means is that the sort of things that have happened in this country where there's no rule of law and they've been picking up people and that there's all these cases against me, that if they think they'll sit quietly and do nothing, if uh, they uh, shove me in jail, there would be a reaction. But you know, that does sound to many like a threat. Well, I, I didn't make the threat. It's the, it's the workers and the, uh, and the party members. You can't separate yourself off because you are the party. So what am I supposed to say then? If they say Imran is my red line, I'll say, no, I'm not their red line. What should I say? But you can't then say that you are not partly responsible for whipping up an environment in which people were aggressive and violent on the streets. In Britain, you know very well that the right for peaceful protest is part of your democracy and your constitution. But it wasn't always peaceful. No. When was it not peaceful? Tell me. I, I was out in Islamabad with people who were speaking passionately about supporting you, but were also using slingshots, throwing stones, holding very large sticks against the police. There are videos of your supporters who were part of the crowd, part of the group, that were burning down military buildings. It's not true. I, there should be an independent investigation. I have called for an investigation the day I got out of jail. There has to be an independent investigation on who was involved in arson. What is the plan now? Your leadership have deserted you. Many of your party supporters are either in jail or very scared. So what exactly 
you, will you do? Well, firstly, fill in all the positions of people who have, uh, who have left. So have younger blood, newer people coming in. Uh, and they'll probably get arrested too. Because right now, I mean... So how do you run a party like that? So, but this is... You can use these terror tactics for only a short time. This is, the whole situation is untenable. So what you're asking is, what is my strategy? I'm just watching this whole scenario, wait and see. It's probably, it's possible that they'll put me in jail. Recently, you've said that you see that there is an important role for the military in uh, politics, in Pakistan. What I have said is that the military has basically been in power directly or indirectly for 70 years. So for me to wish them away that, look, suddenly they will, the military will have no role is just living in a fool's paradise. It's not going to happen. 